Welcome back to Tom's Garage. Ooh, hello everybody, good morning. Today, today, today. <gasps> Pal, it's an Oregon push mower. Oregon. It is. I'm not sure where you got, where you buy these things at. I guess Northern Tool, Harbor Freight, I guess, I don't know. Maybe you can get one on the internet. I don't work on these things, I don't take them in, but fella was nice enough to go ahead and get the part we needed. Just a self-propel cable. I tell you, it's been self-propel week here at the old garage. Good Lord. But that's what it is, just a self-propel cable. That's all we gotta do, and that's all we're gonna do. Never done one of these before. I guess this was a, I don't know. It's got the Briggs EXI 625 engine. It's got the good engine on it. Oregon. Would that be a power mower frame? I don't know. If it was, it wouldn't be a Briggs engine, I guess. But we're gonna replace the cable. We are, let's get busy, let's do it. I gotta figure out how to do it. I've never done one of these Oregons. Let's see, first of all, let's take this off. That's just a cable holder. Yeah, let's see. Let me lower the table a little bit and we'll get, this, get it unhooked from up here. And that's what it is right there. I can't get Brandon's tool in there. I was hoping to get to use it. What we'll do is just take a pair of needly nose or a screwdriver or something try to get in there and get that in a snap. Let's see, can I get these needle nose in here? Well, I sure can. That's good. Well, there's that part. Okay. Now we'll raise her back up and look under it. We'll have to take that plastic shroud off of it. I don't know. Never had to do one before. I believe that's gonna be a power more frame. I, you know, it's got that, it's got that bar that will adjust the front and back wheels at the same time. I think that's, I think I recognize it. I think I do. Let's grab a flash of that. Okay. Take that blade off, get these two. This nut and this nut is actually the motor mount stud. It's going to be kind of interesting how that's going to come off. Huh. I guess the other side's like it too. Get my hand in there, Phil. Yeah, it's just, you can just see the screw coming out the end of the, through the block. So I don't know if the nut's going to come off and leave the stud or the whole thing is going to come out. That's a lock nut. Let's get the blade off. Well, I don't know what kind of crazy size that bolt is. It's not a 5 8 it looks like a 5 8 Let's try an 11 16 yeah, We'll use 11 16 Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. I don't, even, I don't even recognize that blade adapter pattern. And that crazy looking blade right there. I don't know if somebody done that. 
but they sharpen both sides of it. It's crazy looking, isn't it? Huh. Well, well, don't know. <clears throat> Pull that bolt out up there. Only a 10 millimeter. That just goes right into the plastic. And then we got to dig out this little hole right here because this is where the plastic shroud stops. That's where it's put together. So from here to here, and all this is one piece, I believe. Looks like one piece. No, look at there. Okay, there's another Phillips head screw right there. And right there. I'm going to put that bolt back because this is going to stay. Because this is probably actually part of the whole back end of the frame. So let's put this back in. I got Toro on my mind is what it is. Or Honda. Well, they're about the same. Okay, let me change boots here, get a filler head. Let's see, we'll get the grass out of here. It's out of there. All right, let's see. Two little screws. We're going to have to get this blade adapter off here, I'm afraid. Huh. This is not going to come through that hole right there, because you've got that belt pulley up there. All this just to get to that cable right there. Hmm. Hmm. Let me grab another socket. I'm not interested. Weirdo. Let's see, what size is that? What size is that? Looks like a 14 millimeter. I don't believe it is. Let's try a 13 millimeter. It is. Okay, the stud stayed in there. Answers that question. All right, let's see what we have here. First time ever doing one of these. Maybe we could take and pull it out and just move it out of the way instead of having to... We still need to get to that belt though because we've got to take the... Well, no, maybe not. No, we're just changing the cable. I've done so many drive belts lately. Okay, let's see. That's coming loose there. I don't see any other... Screws. Let me look on the top side here and make sure there's no screws on the top. I don't see none. Don't see nothing. Grab my little screwdriver. <clears throat> huh. How does that come off? How does that come off? How do that come off? Don't see any more screws anywhere. Hmm. Maybe it's just pressed on. Maybe that stud's holding it by the threads. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we got a little washer here. Okay. The little washer's holding it. And this little washer is too. Hmm. 
slide the camera out of the way. I get my big head in the way there. A different screwdriver. I don't want to take a chance on hurting that one. Oh. How does that come off? I think that, I think that washer's got it held. I believe if I can get that washer to let go, it's just stuck up in that plastic. Yeah, that's what it is. Hmm. 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 Try to keep him hurting it. Please tell me don't hurt him. Let me take a little screwdriver. So we get that. There it goes. Just that washer was holding it on there. Well, that's a terrible design. You got these big nuts that just kind of hold that. Well, now we've got to figure out how to get this off. It's loose. There we go. Let's just kind of spin it around just a little bit here. Still holding with that stud. There we go. Just slide it out of the way. That's all we wanted to do because we're going to get that right there. I bet you if we can disconnect the spring then we can spin the transmission around we're going to have to adjust the wheels where we're all the way up because right now they're well all the way down right now they're all the way up so let's see if we can slide this bar out of the way that way the transmission can hmm. Let's see, we can slide. We can slide that belt off. Because that pulley don't have any keepers around it or nothing. It's just completely open. Disconnect that spring right there. I get to use Charles Dean's tool. Pow! That's a tough spring. Oh boy, that thing is tough. Woo! But I'm tougher. Yeah, there we go. Now this spring is gonna fall off, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it off. It's kind of weird looking, isn't it? Now we can get the belt off and spin the transmission around so we can unhook this cable. Mm. Pull some of this cable through there out of the conduit because it's broke anyway. We can unhook that. Now what we need to do is get in here and this thing's already broke, so there we go. Pow, just pull it out of there. It's already broke. Don't try to save it. Get this little rubber grommet out of here. And then we can we can pull it out. 
because that rubber grommet's got to go with it because this ain't going to fit through that hole. The new cable comes with that grommet already on there. Same way on the other side, you can't just pull it through. That grommet's got to come out. How hard is that grommet going to be to get out of there? Let's find out. Oh, that was easy. All right, there's your old cable. Pow. Yeah, that customer, he fought and fought to be able to find this part when we took it off his truck. I said, well, there's your part number right there, sir. And I compared it to the one he bought. 21098002222A. Pow, pow. So I said, yes, sir, you did get the right one. I said, well, I didn't know it was written on there. He said he found it on the internet. I don't know where I could ask him where he got it. Because I don't know where to get Oregon parts. Newt new. I got to where I got so choosy about what I take in. I don't work on Craftsman, Ryobi, Weed Eaters, Power, anything with a Power Mower. Uh -uh. Life is too short. I thought that just clogs up the shop. So we get this grommet back in here. Squeeze it in there. Let me, well, here's a little screwdriver we can use. There we go. You know, this probably would squeeze. No, I don't know. Anyway. All right, all right. Clip that in there like that, like it was. Where was it? Where was that hole? There it is. <laughs> See, I'm having to pull this other end. Okay. Okay. There we go. Now we'll get the belt back on it. I just hope it didn't come off that crankshaft pulley. I can get my head in there. I'll take a peek. I really can't see it. Maybe I can stick my finger in there and feel it. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, it's still on there. Make sure they didn't come off because, you know, just replacing this cable and you cause the belt to burn. <laughs> Tear something up just to fix something else. All right. All right. Get that thing hooked in there. Watch me pull this mower off in my lap. There we go. Voila. Double check one more time. Make sure that belt is on that pulley. And it is. Okay. Screw this back around. Work this back in there. got a little nipple right there. I was going to have to go back inside there. All right. All right. Oh, 
Okay, that's all there is to that. Just take your time and go slow. Put the washers back on. Put the little nuts back on. He likes this lawnmower though, he, he loves it. He likes his little Oregon push mower. I'll say I'll try to fix it for you. There and there. We didn't have to take that out. Everything's back together. Everything seems to be good. Okay. I believe that's all there was to it. I believe that's all there was to it. Now we'll stand her back up and hook that back in up there. Hey well, we forgot to put the blade back on it. Uh -huh. I done that yesterday too. I was working on it. I'm putting that new drive belt on it and got it out there and running around and felt, you know, it seemed like it was running kind of funny. Look, the dang blade was still laying on the bench. I'm like, well, <laughs> this was like that, but. It seems to me it needs to go like that. It'll probably twist with you when you tighten it down. Okay. 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 Hey Lower the table and stick it back in up there. All right, all right, all right. Put it up through here. Let's see, I want that one to go there, and this one can go there. Does that one need to go there? Clip it in here first. All right. Snapped in. See if we can. Nope, we're going to have to pull this out. Clip it in there. All right. All there is, is to it. I'm sure we'll have to adjust it. Hmm. <laughs> I've already checked the oil in it. Let me raise it. Let me move the adjuster back where he had it. Okay, let's take it out here and Fire it up and see if it works. I already checked the oil, it looks good. I'm gonna blow his air filter out too before I give it back to him. Nope, this was the auto choke. Let me just give it a second to fill up that carburetor back. It may have emptied the bowl. 
Check see what kind of fuel it's got plenty in it. Bird feathers. I'll blow that filter out for them. <coughs> There's you a self-propelled cable replacement on a Oregon push mower. Model number MNA153015 is the model number of this particular one. And that model number makes me think it's a power mower. I think it's power. Y'all tell me what y'all think it is. I don't know what it is. But he seems to like it. It's about a year old. Well, there we go. All right, boys and girls. Thanks for watching another time. Whew, another one done. Starting to get pretty caught up now. We ain't had much rain this month. Y'all be good, boys and girls. Love y'all to death. Tell somebody I love them. And we will catch y'all on the next one. See y'all.